Good evening and welcome to Blooming Wonderful Wombs. Healthy wombs, healthy mind, healthy soul. And today I have my first swim, pool swim that is since March. And oh my God, it was amazing. Um, I feel, well, I felt really good afterwards, but I have got the chlorine headache I forgot I used to get. So um, yeah, I might have to, um, I've been drinking loads of water, but anyway. I'm still feeling much better after having my swim. So um, as it's Saturday night, I'll just do a quick one today, but I hope you're all keeping really well and you've had a really good weekend so far. Um, I have been looking at some of the ingredients. Oh, do you want to meet my aunt? Oh, Prue's just gone, you might have seen her, but this is Darley. This is my cat, Darley. Um, and that is normally my seat in the house, but they seem to have um, nicked it for the time being. Anyway, so I've been looking at the ingredients of some of our favorite cosmetics or ones that I've been using anyway. So first ones that I'm having to go in my danger box, I'm afraid, are Dinner Clarins. That's the uh, moisture rich body lotion and the One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, they've had, got quite a few ingredients in them that are um, not quite right. So, sorry, if you what I'll, what I'll do is I'll put the actual ingredients. Well, what I've done, because there's so many ingredients in them, so I get down to the first one um, that is on the um, hormone disruptor list, and then I, I track it away from there. Um, so there may well be more than one um, dodgy ingredient, but that's about halfway down the ingredients. So that's what I've had to do. So they're in the danger box. This is also in the danger box. Um, uh, but it's only about one of some of the main ingredients are on the um, danger list. What really annoys me is these brands that are advertising as simple pure organic and they're not good at all so um just watch out for those again i'll put the link for the hormone disruptor so you can type your own ingredients in and check them but simple's not good this i'm surprised about i thought it was gonna have like tons of ingredients on and actually um there's only a few that are on there so and it's right near the bottom i'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of it but um I'll, I'll put it on the link and you can have a look but i would say i'm going to carry on using this um but occasionally i don't think it's as bad as some of the things that say they're pure and innocent um so, so i was actually surprised in fact the ingredient in here is not on the hormone disruptor website it's on the ewg website and it says it um can um, cause infertility in rats so if you're trying to have a baby don't have this but it doesn't mention anything about being fed estrogen so um yeah this i think i try and avoid them all if you can but you know sometimes we just need some dry shampoo don't we and um this one original source so again it gives it this kind of organic kind of feel doesn't it to it um and it's not organic so yeah you just need to um bear in mind as it wasn't as many it's near the bottom of the ingredients so like in so it's probably like a really small percentage of it that is bad but it is a bad, it's a paraben. So um, yeah, it just says, does it actually say, it doesn't say, oh, it does say paraben free, but there were some um, dodgy ingredients that were showing on the Hormone Disruptor website. So yeah, just bear that in mind, check your ingredients. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna be checking Clinique and um, I think this is, I can't remember if this is the Audi or the little one, um, but anyway, I'm going to be checking it out tomorrow, these two. Now it's Saturday night, so I'm going to start relaxing. Um, on one of the menopause websites I was on, there's a lady I'm talking to, and she's got a list of, there's quite a few contradictory bits of evidence with the food you can eat and can't eat. But she's sent me another website, which has got a whole long list of things you can enjoy. Um, which actually might have a counteractive effect on cancers. Um, 
it's almost suggesting having these foods instead of prescriptions. Um, and guess what was on there? Red wine. So I'm actually um, quite pleased about that, but I'm sure um, it means in small quantities. But the organic wine I had yesterday is really nice. So it's from Bulgaria. So what I'll do is I'll share that as well. I'll share the link to it. So yes, um, yeah, I hope you're going to have a wonderful Saturday evening. Um, just check all your ingredients you've got all the links to do the checks and do share um, anything that you think is not right okay so we can share the love in the group and keep our wounds nice and healthy okay take care lots of love bye